Hey, we're live again. It's James of Duke, SpeakingTrainingSites.io. One of the things I do on a regular basis is try and create some kind of thing that my customers would like that I can use maybe as something for sale or even an added bonus or something as a lead generator where I can give away something of value to my customers in exchange for their email address or their money. One of the things that I think you should look at now, which is especially important with all of this AI noise going on, is creating custom GPTs. And what I want to do today is I want to show you how quick it is to actually create a custom GPT compared to what you may have been taught or are still being taught about creating things like infographics and PDFs and checklists like that. I don't know about you, but uh, I'm not overly graphic in, graphically inclined. Uh, I can pick some templates on Canva, but to actually figure out all of the branding and all that stuff that makes it look really professional, I can't do that myself. So I either have to pay someone else to do it or try and take the time to learn how to do it myself. Compared to being able to create an info product called a custom GPT in maybe about five minutes. And in fact, that's what I'm going to do right now. So if you aren't familiar with custom GPTs, think of them as specific uh, chat GPT prompt and response for a specific outcome. So I've created a number of them in the last couple of days just to show you as examples. Uh, I have one on when to pivot. Let me see if I can make it a big, bit bigger here. I have one on uh, when to pivot your business model. Uh, I have one on uh, turning YouTubes into newsletters. I have one on thumbnails. I have one for uh, getting ready for Zoom calls. But these are all specific chat GPT guided mentoring outcomes where you're basically guided along the way to be able to know when it's the right time to pivot your business or have a thumbnail text and title to the YouTube video that you've just created. So these are easy to create and I'm going to show you one right now and it's a two step process and it doesn't have to be done exactly like this, but this is the way that I do it and I found it most effective. And I'll explain the second way uh, in a minute. So here's kind of the gist on this. I'm going to make the screen back a little bit uh, back to its size. Here's the part that there's the process how it works. What I do is I go to ChatGPT, the regular ChatGPT, and I basically brainstorm just for a second about the idea. And when I'm in ChatGPT, I just make sure that I tell it. I'm saying, hey, I'm going to create a custom GPT. I just want to round out some stuff. And when I do that, when I'm finished, I just say, give me a file or instructions that I can give to the custom GPT editor to create the custom GPT. So I'm not coding anything. I'm not figuring anything out other than having a discussion, a back and forth, a conversation with ChatGPT, which I'm pretty sure you already know how to do and you've probably been doing. There's no special prompts. There's nothing that's out of the ordinary. It's basically you with an idea and the ability to have a ChatGPT account that you can have a little bit of a conversation with. Now, if you are going to be creating uh, your own custom GPTs, you do need uh, a paid version, a plus version at the minimum, which I think is $20 a month. However, you can also sell these or give them away. And if you're going to do that, anyone with a free account can get started. So it doesn't require them to have a paid account, not necessarily, unless you do some really, really wild stuff, which I'm not going to get into. But for most things, they just have a chat GPT account, which more and more of the population does just a free one. And they're good to go away to the races. So uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go to chat GPT right now and uh, I'm going to log in so that you can see. And the model that I'm using, I'm just going to use the standard one right now. Uh, actually, I won't. I'm going to go use one. Uh, let's do this one. I'm going to use which one will I use today? Actually, I will use it. The reason I'm kind of shuffling on this is because last night the new version came out, but I'll use GPT 4.0. So you can see up here, it says GPT 4.0. And what's on the agenda today? I'm not doing anything special. And if you wanted to, you can always use the voice commands, right? So dictate it. I'm not doing that today. I'm going to type it in and I'm just going to say, um, I am going to create uh, a custom GPT. to sell to my customers 
And so I just basically give it some context, right? I'm creating a custom GPT. I'm going to sell it to my customers. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to say, I, uh, my, my, I'm just going to give an idea is to come up with some ideas for custom GPTs. Come on, type well. So I'm basically saying, hey, this is my idea. Let's get started. And I basically that's all I've done. It. So two sentences, I put it in, uh, and it's working here in the background as we go through with this. It says, hey, that's a brilliant meta offer. Selling a custom GPT that helps your customers create their own custom GPTs. Uh, teach a person official basically goes there, and it's uh, it's got a name for it, GPT Buddy Builder. A personal guide and this is basically what it does so it clarifies the ideas and then puts it all together now this is a conversation if you want to change this uh, you know figure out what it is um, and then um, this is like this is just an example of what you could do to create it and I'm just going to use it here it even goes over ways you can sell it teach magnet workshop add and uh, done for you, upsell service, digital product bundle, all sorts of stuff there and some potential names. And it says, do you want to drape the, uh, draft the system prompting conversation uh, or would you like to downable PDF? Now you can actually have a PDF that you go do the, uh, for the buyers. Uh, and I'm just going to say, um, just create the instructions I can give the custom, the GPT editor. So I'm not even going to make any changes. I just want to show you how easy it is to do. And this last step is basically what you want to do. And this is what happens. So it just says paste it in directly. And instructions for GPT, capabilities, off, knowledge, all sorts of stuff here. Uh, and then conversation starters are there. And I'm just going to say, uh, let me have a text file to cut and paste. Now, sometimes I've had this a little wanky, but um, or JSON. I, I said text file, but I'm going to use. Sometimes you hold the word JSON, uh, and basically it's a language that software knows how to read uh, and save. And I'm going to say, just give me a text file or a JSON file as a text file that I can copy and paste in. Now, this is a reason that uh, I do that. And it's put in this little thing here, uh, text version. And there's a JSON version. So all it's going to do, I'm going to let this finish. It'll just run through. And I'm just going to take this and I'm going to hit the copy button when it's finished. And then I'll actually show you how this gets created. So there we go. I got it there. I'm just going to copy it. And that's all I need to do. That's all the instructions. Again, I didn't code anything. I just said, hey, give me the JSON file that I can cut and paste and put directly into what? Well, that's the next part. Uh, and again, we could have done this right within the GPT editor, which I'm going to show you right now. So this one, and again, I'll put the link to this, uh, but it says it's chat GPT dot openai.com which is the one you normally go to and then it's forward slash gpts and then forward slash editor and all we do is i'm just going to open that and this brings up this tool right here which is the editor to actually create our custom gpts now this is drop dead simple so watch this right now on this one see it's on configure right now i don't have to do this manually i'm just going to click create and in this space here, up and down, this is where I could have had that other conversation. I like doing it in the other one because I can organize all of the custom GPTs I'm doing in a project. This one has all of these uh, as separate pieces. So that's why I do it in a separate one. So I'm just going to click V, Control V, or Control Paste, or whatever machine you're using. And I'm just going to hit Enter. And this is creating my custom GPT for me. And you're going to see, uh, as I scroll down here, you're going to see it's kind of working in the background. It's even going to create an image for me to use with the custom GPT in the preview so that it's ready to go. And when this comes out, 
You can make it private to yourself or you can make it public with a link. And then that link is yours to use wherever you want, whether it be something that's paid or something that's free. And you can see there's a little featured image for my custom GPT. Here's your profile image. Uh, I'm just going to make, uh, I'm just going to say, make them less business like. Just basically, you can go and make changes that you want. He's in a suit right now. I don't want him in a suit, so I'm just going to get him out of there. And we'll go from here. So this is, again, generating a new picture. Now, this is something that came about, uh, I guess, because they've actually got the uh, Sora and the new uh, ChatGPT image generators built in. It wasn't before we had to create it. There, we've got a person here. That's fine for this example. Uh, and then I'm just going to say, that's fine. Create the GPT. So there we go. It's going to be created. Ready to go. Help me create it. Now it says, let me know if you want to retire anything. You want to test it out now. And I'm just going to say, let's test it. And basically it's going to go through. So this is one where we actually do it, right? So help me create my own custom GPT or want to turn my course into a GPT. A little back and forth uh, and then tell me how it felt. So this is one we can actually test while we're going. I'm not going to do that right now, although you can do it to test it. And the reason I'm showing you this is because if there are changes that you want to make, you can actually do that here in this actual part of the editor. We did it in the separate standalone um, chat before. This one, you can actually make changes live here before you do what I'm going to do next, which is create. Uh, and the create part one, here's only me, anyone with the link or the GPT store. I'm going to keep it anyone with the link and I'm going to click save. And it's now going to go and create my custom GPT. That is basically all it takes to create one. There is nothing technical about this. There's nothing where you're doing any coding. It's just you having a little bit of a conversation and an idea that you know that your customers or students or people that you're trying to sell this to have. And if you can replace something that they either have to spend time or money on, there is value in these simple tools that replaces what you may have been using when you come with checklists and templates and all those additional pieces. So on this one right here, I'm just going to copy it for now. And I'm not going to view GPT. I'm going to close this. We'll come back to the second. Here's the reason why. You'll also notice where I had create here, my mouse is moving. There's also one called configure. So here's what you do when you hate configure, you can actually go and change the name of it, what the guides are. And if you scroll down a little bit, that's the instructions we're giving it. You can give some starters or add some additional phrases to get people starting. This is a regular ChatGPT conversation. It just happens to be focused on a specific task. So if you're an expert on something, go ahead, make these changes, go and add any phrases that you want. The examples that were actually here that we created here as what the purpose is, go and change that. Go back and update it and do whatever you want here. But when you're ready, it says updates pending in the right hand side. Anytime you make changes, just hit update and it's going to update any of the custom stuff that you've done. And on mine, let me just see uh, I'm going to uh, copy link here. It changed itself to uh, custom GPT creator. It keeps it invite only. So let's go and close this for a second. And over on the right hand side, if you do have to make some edits, you can copy link, revert version history or delete it. And also if I click share, it allows me to put it back to anyone with the link and click save. And I might have to update it again. So there's the update and we've got share on this one. There's the share, copy the link. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up a new window so that you can see it. And we're going to be into our own custom GPT. There we go. That's something that now you can give to your clients. You are officially a custom GPT developer. All that this is stopped by or controlled by is how creative you get on providing these kind of tools to the people that you're trying to teach or help. And this is just how do I create my, my own GPT? Let's go through.
And we had those guided questions and then we're basically having it right here. And this tool is available for you internally or as something, again, you can sell uh, or use. So if this is something that looks like fun for you, want to find out more about it, make sure to go to trainingsites.io forward slash join. That's the actually link at the bottom of the page there because all of the videos, all of the tools, all of the prompts, all of the resources that I use to help people to start build and grow education businesses are there available for you free of charge. My name is James, trainingsites.io. Make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be back later today with another great video to help you out. Take care, expect the best.